Let's take a regular hexagon and an arbitrary point inside. Connect all vertices to this point and color the resulting triangles in alternating ways. Red, blue, red, blue, and so on. It turns out that the combined area of all red triangles is equal to the total area of blue triangles. And remember, the internal point can be anywhere. So when the point is in the middle, the proof is obvious. When we consider an off-center point, we can introduce a coordinate system and record a vector to this point. We then no, this problem is much easier and needs nothing but basic geometry. Just remember what a triangle area is. Half base times the height. And the bases are equal for all triangles, since the hexagon is regular. So, we should think about the heights. Observe that the opposite sides of our polygon are parallel. Well, it means that our heights are making up three straight lines of equal length. So now our problem is to show that these parts of the three heights add up to the same value, independent of the internal point. Well, is there any other object which these three heights belong to? We can create one by simply continuing the sides of our hexagon giving us an equilateral triangle. In this picture we see that the triangles containing the heights add up to the whole triangle. So, A1 plus A2 plus A3 is constant, which implies that it equals to 3 halves of a height inside our hexagon. Remembering the initial picture, we see that A1, 2 and 3 belong to red triangles, and their complements belong to blue triangles. Therefore, we get the desired equality.